you have to pick two movies with the same main actor and merge them into one story. What's the story of this new movie? Constantine Wick. When his dog is killed by a demon, Keanu Reeves takes revenge on hell to ensure his dog is accepted into doggy heaven. Rachel McAdams dumps one time traveling husband for another time traveling husband. Jurassic Parks and Rec. A small town in Indiana decides to open a dinosaur park, and things don't go as planned. Yes, I know. It's a movie plus TV series. The Titanic Revenant. Bears are on the Titanic and cut loose as the ship goes down. They fuck up Leo. Everyone's dead. There's a bear wearing the amulet at the end. The Fugitive Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wrongfully accused of murdering his wife, intrepid archaeologist Indiana Jones goes on the run from the law and embarks on a global odyssey in an attempt to clear his name, all while trying to prevent a sinister cabal of Nazis from recovering a mysterious artifact. As Jones leads his pursuers through an intricate series of chases, he struggles to expose the secrets behind his wife's death and its disturbing connection to the dangerous relic buried in the sands of Egypt before it's too late. Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. Movies basically unchanged. David Spade supervises Chris Farley as he helps out his family. John McClane fights fake terrorists even though he's dead the whole time. Oh, he sees dead people, all right. Kindergarten Cop and Predator. An undercover soldier for hire has to teach a classroom of deadly predator children. Batman quits being Batman so he can rob a casino and win back his ex who looks a lot like actress Julia Roberts. Easy. Kurt Russell with big trouble in Little China and escape from LA except after the events of Cali, he has to use his truck and go east to the Dakotas and Midwest and fight the Lord of Dairy and Weed. Okay, not a movie but hear me out. I'm halfway through season 4 of Ozark and I see absolutely no reason that Arrested Development isn't just the life Marty Bird ends up with once he agrees to go into witness protection. Diagnosed with a fatal illness, Jack Nicholson meets a kindred spirit who helps Jack spend his remaining time crossing things off his bucket list and improve his life. After he dies, he discovers that his friend was God the whole time, having more free time to spend on Earth after giving Jim Carrey some of his power. No Country for Old Men and Infinity War. Josh Brolin simply snaps Anton Chigurh out of existence and takes the money. The bespectacled closer and aging catcher for the Cleveland Indians both join the army and go to Vietnam. They both see some serious shit, and eventually the former pitcher kills the catcher before being being evacuated. Coming this summer, Major League Platoon. The son of a lighting fixture company buys a summer camp for heavy young boys, but after becoming a wicked tyrant, the campgoers devise a plan to drive him away. Years later, he opens Globo Gym and enters a dodgeball tournament, loses and becomes obese, and, mad at Chuck Norris. Passenger Blade. A day-walking vampire, Wesley Snipes, is on an airline when the leader of a vampire cult boards it. The leader of the vampire cult kills the other vampires on the airplane and holds the human passengers captive for his ascension into becoming a vampire god. Man with Eye Patch is the leader of a group of superhero-enhanced humans and aliens. There is trouble brewing in what they think is an impoverished African country so they jump on a plane to go fight, but there's snakes on the plane. Lots of snakes. Turbo Pool 2, Ryan Reynolds is given the mutant ability to turn into a hypersonic snail, he is visited by a time-traveling Cable L. Jackson, out to win the Indy 500 and kill another snail. To save the snail and the future, Ryan Reynolds has to race against him. Also Green Lantern is somehow involved. Forest Away. Forrest Gump gets stranded on a deserted island and somehow still becomes just as wildly successful with his shrimp business. Constantine in the Matrix. Hell and the Matrix collided. Constantine continues to fight, using both Neos and Constantine's skills. Firebirds, the fugitive, Conair. Nick Cage is a trainee Apache pilot who washes out after Tommy Lee Jones doesn't help him with his eye dominance problem. He goes home in a bad state and accidentally kills a man. Gets sent to prison for seven years during which time he rehabilitates while Tommy Lee Jones, now distraught that he didn't help the most promising Apache pilot ever, eventually loses his will to fly and instead quits the army and takes a job as a U.S. Marshal. Nick Cage is being transferred to another prison for parole and ends up on a prison plane with a bunch of other prisoners including the wrongly accused Harrison Ford. The plane crash lands at an army base and leads to a major fight. A bunch of the prisoners steal another plane and force Ford to come along because they need a doctor. But Cage manages to escape and meets up with Jones in an emotional reunion. The prisoners crash land at a remote airstrip and when the authorities try to capture them there is a major gunfight and the troops have to pull back. Word of this comes through to Jones and he asks Cage to help him by flying as his wingman J and one of the Apaches at the army base they are at. Initially Cage refuses saying that he's not good enough. Jones tells him that he is the greatest pilot he's ever seen and eventually Cage relents. They take off with Jones in his front seater in the lead chopper and Cage plus his gunner in the second one planning to subdue the heavily armed convicts. When they reach the area Jones chopper is hit by an RPG and goes down. Ford comes to provide medical aid but the other cons take a stinger missile off the wing planning to shoot down Cage. After some tense battle scenes eventually Cage stuffs a hellfire down the stinger operator and takes out the rest of the cons with 30mm and rockets. He lands as they are extracting the injured Jones from the chopper and in the process someone figures out that Ford was wrongly accused. Roll credits. Usual beauty, Kaiser So's going through a midlife crisis whilst trying to deal with the one guy who can incriminate him. The Fantastic Captain America. Johnny Storm and Steve Rogers go on an epic road trip across America, fighting Nazis and Nazi scientists. 
The hunt for the Jurassic Park. Sam Neill escapes into the New Zealand wilderness to save the boy from a vengeful pack of dinosaurs that is after them. New Zealand watches and cheers along the way. Pirates of the Scissor Hands. Edward of the Caribbean. Venom, Inception. A mark ends up infecting Eames with the symbiote. Top Gun won an American maid. Keep most of the stories the same but basically Barry Seal would just be what happened to Maverick after he retired from Top Gun, instead of him being a commercial pilot at the beginning of American Made. TVP, Terminator vs Predator. A very advanced Terminator capable of replicating people's personality is sent back in time to replace a very important soldier Maj Dutch Schaefer, whom the physical appearance of the T-800S is based on. However during a mission in Central America a mysterious threat starts to kill off Dutch's team. It now up to the Terminator to find and kill the alien who threatens the future of Skynet. Who will be victorious the perfect killing machine or the ultimate hunter? The Mummy, and Journey to the Center of the Earth. About fighting evil mummies and having a Jules Verne-style adventure. It would be the adventuriest adventure movie yet. Pete Brendan Fraser goodness. S Captain Sully. After heroically crash landing his plane, the downed airliner is taken over by Somali pirates and the passengers and crew taken hostage. Han Solo is about to do the Kessel Run, but there are snakes in the way. He hates snakes. Apollo 13 crashes upon re-entry and then cast away. Asterisk, red dust gone with the wind, Clark Gable. A suave, handsome southern gentleman turns into a philandering jerk, messing around with a common prostitute while a beautiful Georgia peach fumes on the sidelines. She is waiting for the chance to stick her dainty little fingers into every angle of the gentleman's life, thereby wreaking havoc with his future. Asterisk, the phantom of the opera, the lamb, the woman, and the wolf, Lon Chaney. A weird ghoul haunts a mining camp deep in the mountains. His love for the woman is soon thwarted by the wolf, while the lamb watches silently, waiting to pick up the pieces of this messy love triangle. Deadpool and the Atom Project. It would be very fun to see young Deadpool. Return of the Jedi slash the Giver. Mark Hamill gets electrocuted by the Emperor, so he dons the Giver suit and proceeds to kick everybody's asses. Seth Rogen in, this is the interview, where he goes to conduct the interview with Kim Jong-un but halfway through the movie the rapture starts. Okay, so Top Gun, Maverick. Captain Pete Mitchell is sent to fly an F-A-18 into an enemy state and blow up the infrastructure of their nuclear program. However, the mission goes wrong. His plane gets shot down, and he's taken into custody at the nearest base, which happens to be the same one that the nuclear facility is in. Several hours later, the facility blows up. A lone F-14 flies away from the ruined base. It's being piloted by Pete Mitchell. Who then rips his face off to reveal it was actually a mask, and he's IMF agent Ethan Hunt, who successfully thwarted the rogue nation's nuclear program. The Wolf of Titanic. My man sells stocks to the rich people in Titanic and gets rich while having a romance side story with a woman. He gets addicted to drugs and somehow takes control of the ship while high. Crashes the ship, survives, gets to jail, uses money for luxury in jail. Sergeant Hendrix O'Neill narrowly survived Vietnam, but returned home a broken and twisted man. Rising to the rank of major in the armed services, he saw the country he nearly died for turn its back on its troops, and joined in a plotted terrorist coup on Alcatraz. However, the plot was foiled, and once more Major Hendrix nearly died, were he not saved by Robert Kelso, a doctor on vacation before he would begin his new post at Sacred Hearts Medical. Kelso was quick on the take, identifying O'Neill as part of the terrorist group, and blackmailed him into serving as his attending physician under the assumed identity of Percival Ulysses Cox.